So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down and analyzing uh, EURUSD and GBPJPY. And I'm going to pretty much break down what I see happening for next week and what we could expect from both pairs. So let's get right into it. And I'm going to first break down EURUSD. I'm literally going to do this from from uh, start to beginning. My graph is literally uh, empty right now. So you're literally going to see how I mark my graph from from zero to uh, literally from zero to 100. So take advantage. All right, so check this out. This is Friday right here, right? So the market closed right here. So the first thing I do is mark my highs and lows of days. My high and low of day is gonna come from Friday and I do this on M5. So I'm gonna just do this real quick and let me do this here. So this is gonna be the low of day right here, the lowest point between Frankfurt and New York, this low of day, and then this high of day right here, the highest point between Frankfurt and New York. You guys can see right here. So we have the highest point, lowest point. And then I just do this again for the previous day right here. So Thursday is going to be two previous days uh, from what we're trading. We're trading Monday, Friday, and then Thursday, two days back is the previous low of day. Lowest point between Frankfurt and New York. And then the highest point is going to be the previous high of day right here. So I'm literally going to leave my chart ready um, to trade on like for next week. And this is exactly how I'm going to leave my graph. And this is what I'm analyzing. So you guys can get in my mindset and see the same things I see. Okay, so we have the previous high, of day, previous high of day, previous low of day. And then we have the high of day and we have the low of day here. So let's go to the higher time frames like daily and weekly and mark off where we are right now. So the first things first, we are in this weekly supply right here that I've been mentioning. So let's mark this off right here like that. And then definitely, definitely an area that interests me as well. As far as like a demand zone on the weekly, we have this area right here that created that this push into the zone came from this area. But now let's go to the daily and see more like more precisely exactly what we're working with. So if I stretch this out on the daily, you can see that we have this demand zone right here, that this area is more valid. This is a weekly, but we have this um, daily zone right here that this is the previous candle previous contrary candle that created the push into the zone. So it's very likely this target. Let me delete this one so you guys don't get confused. This one is more than likely we're going to see price come into this area here. So knowing that we have this this demand here right off the bat, I want to break something down for you guys. Notice how we have kind of a left a head, and then a right shoulder would be coming from this area here. Literally, just imagine something like this. This is a very likely scenario. We're going to see price probably like Something like this. Or maybe not so low, maybe something like this. Like that. This is a very, very likely scenario. And I say this because look, keep in mind, we're coming from a, a, a weekly supply. We ha This is on the daily time frame. We're getting a, a very common pattern for a reversal pattern. We have a left head and the right shoulder would be right here coming from this um, bullish candle right here, the, the previous contrary candle before this move right here that we're anticipating. So that's very, very likely for next week. If I go to H1 time frame, let's see. Okay, so let's be a little bit more specific and see what we actually could be seeing happen next week. So, because I mean, what I just said, it could happen, but I want to be more specific. I want to point out specific points. So. It's an area that I really do see that that the the sales could continue from. Like I said, it's going to be this area here being the um, it's, it's the daily uh, right shoulder. So it's going to be like the daily supply right here. And we also have this previous low of day. So these two areas I have I'm going to keep in mind for for price to um, like it's very likely for price to pull back into this area and the sales continue from this area is what I'm saying. So let's go to. Let me point something else for you guys, so just so we could be crystal clear for the week. So keep in mind, what I'm really anticipating is sales to come in from this area, with this being the, the, the target for the end of the week. So it's about like 200 pips, 220 pips. Yeah, like 222 pips. So that's what I'm anticipating for price to do. For price, let's just say to London, pull back right here. Um, and then for, let's just say New York or the next day for the sales to come in. If price doesn't respect this area here let's just say that price doesn't come in with the, the bearish volume and price opens up and we see a 
bullish momentum. So let's see where price could go if we have a bullish momentum. On the daily time frame right here, we have this daily supply inside this weekly supply that this was the previous contrary candle that created the move right here. If I stretch it back, you guys can see that the move originally came from this zone. So it's just an area to keep in mind if price doesn't give us the sales from this area. This is an area that price could go to next. If because in trading, nothing's 100 percent sure. Everything's probabilities, right? So if price presents itself with our entry opportunity here, we're going to take the sales. This is going to be the main target. If price opens up, breaks these highs, this is the main area that I see price going to and then definitely seeing getting some sales from this area as well. So I see those two things happening for um, Euro USD. Either we're going to get some sales from here or definitely price is going to head to this area and we're definitely going to see some sales coming from here. So we just got to wait. And when we sit down to trade the session that we're going to trade, see what we're working with and always wait for an entry confirmation. So let's go now to GJ. All right, same thing. Let me do the same exact thing. Let me go to M5 and draw the highs and lows of days. Okay, I don't know. Okay, right here. All right, perfect. So this is Friday. So the high and low of day is gonna come from Friday as well. I only trade EURUSD to be honest, but now I used to trade GJ, but I, I honestly just trade EURUSD because that's the pair that majority of uh, my followers trade. And I'm trying to, like when I do the breakdowns and stuff, I don't wanna be breaking down two pairs every day. So it's easier for me to just break down your USD and trade it than to be sending an analysis of your USD and analyzing GJ on my own. But this is for the weekly, um, like a weekly analysis. So I'm gonna just do this either way. So we're gonna have our high of day right here. And then our low of day right here, lowest point between Frankfurt and New York. Low of day. And then we're gonna have our previous high and previous low of day again coming from Thursday. So this is going to be our highest point that day. Previous high of day. And then our previous low of day right here. Previous low of day, okay. So now let me just go to see, uh, I mean, let me go to the weekly daily time frame again just to see what we're working with. Same thing as your USD, but now we're going to do it on GJ. So. Okay, so something that does catch my eye right away is that we have this, um, like, this empty space right here. So and we have this supply right here. So I'm definitely going to mark this off first right here. The supply. That's the first thing that catches my eye. And then another thing that catches my eye. This demand right here, this area. Like this, we have this demand zone. You can see that price pulled back into this area pretty much and then gave us this push but not right now what i do see that we're working with is that this is a very long wick when you see a long wick like this we could just pretty much stretch like this and use the body of the candle the body of the candle and the wick and you can see that this is the demand zone that we're working with right now and this is the supply on the higher time frame so let's go to h4 and see what more than likely we're going to see again i haven't like i haven't seen this graph in a few actually in a few weeks so it's not, I'm not, I might not be as quick to analyze it as EURUSD because I've been trading it for the past few days. So I, I know like what current price we're doing with EURUSD. So here I have to analyze a little bit more. So on H4, let me see what I see. So yeah, on H4 and the daily, actually, let me see on the weekly. Okay, so yeah, it's, it, we could actually see more than likely now it, it, it does look a little bit clearer. So look, I see this right here. Notice on the weekly time frame, we have this candle that closed right here. And then right here, we have this previous high of day right above the this candle right here. So we could get maybe, um, let me see. Okay. Sorry about that, I, got, I was getting a message. Okay, so we could maybe see price pull back into this area here. That's very likely. We might honestly see price pullbacks into this area here that being this supply on the weekly and this previous high of day here and if we notice we really don't have nothing stopping price because this supply was used right here you can see that this oh crap i don't know this stretch okay so you can see that the supply that we're working with right here price used it already so nothing no supply is stopping price right here to this area so it's very likely we might see price do this And 
again nothing is 100 percent sure we have to wait for the market to open see what the sessions do but this is a very likely scenario price reaching this area here so that's definitely what i do see for gj we might get price price might open up pull back somewhere here and then continue the uh, this bullish momentum into this area of supply right here so that's something definitely to keep in mind but yeah that's definitely what i see for your usd and gj for the next few days so hopefully you guys could pick up um, some sauce from what I, what I threw down and just be be alert for the daily breakdowns i'll be sending in the telegram and youtube i'm gonna be dropping some serious heat here so take advantage